home-based portable energy storage, new BMS V19, new UART function, new fire extinguishing device. Now let's DIY the kit. Display of all accessories. Before assembly, measure the voltage of each cell to ensure the same value. Place the epoxy boards. Now that the bottom two pieces epoxy boards do not need to be taped. Place the heating pad on the epoxy board. Place the battery cell as shown on the right. Pay attention to the order. Put a piece of insulating cotton in the middle of the two pieces cells. Assemble the front baffle and tighten it with M6 screws. Not all screws need to be tightened without gaps. Put insulating cotton on the back of PCB A and B. Notice that board A is on the left, board B is on the right. Please use M4 black screws to fix both ends of these two boards. Place the connector and the terminal and lock the nut as shown. Connect the terminals of the heating pad to the protective plate. Connect the terminals as shown in the figure. cable and BMS communication acquisition cable. Fix the temperature probe of the heating pad on the collection line to prevent accidental touch and short circuit. Connect the connecting piece on the protection board to the circuit breaker. Finally, a torque wrench should be used for reinforcement with a torque value of 6 to 8 microns. Connect the terminal of the acquisition line, the power line, the terminal of the heating pad and the positive connection piece. All components are connected and displayed. Not all screws need to be locked with a torque wrench, and the torque value is recommended between 6 to 8 nm. Install fire extinguishing devices. Install the epoxy board. Connect the display screen cable. After the connection is completed, cover the front panel and fix it with M4 screws. Install the four universal wheels at the bottom with M6 screws. Click to connect the device, enter the pairing password 1234 and pair. Click LiPo 4 in the upper right corner to set your battery capacity, that completes the setup. APP settings and precautions for heating pads. Let's connect in parallel together. When the circuit is off, connect the two power cable first. Connect the positive terminal to the positive terminal and the negative terminal to the negative terminal. 
After all the screws are connected, they need to be reinforced with the torque wrench. The recommended torque value is 6 to 8 mm. Connect the communication line to the RS485 to interface. The first address behind the host is 1, the deep switch positions are on, off, off, off. After the settings are completed, the total battery capacity and the parameters of each parallel battery pack can be seen on the host display screen. The other non-mainframe display screens only show their own parameters if each parallel battery pack can be seen on the host display screen. Parallel connection has been completed.